Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Blake Riley, and I'm a junior at Gothenburg High School. That's right, buddy! Yeah, I know. <laughs> and this is my poem entitled Pencil with Words by Mary Lambert. The pencil, it's a magical object. It holds the ability to extract the things you are feeling from your soul and place it onto a piece of paper however you would like. The pencil, it's only limited when the human hand hesitates to write what the heart has to say. As poets, the simple task of writing what we feel never seems to be a problem. But what about those who don't write? Think of all the unwritten thoughts, the unwritten feelings, the unwritten stories that never leave the fingertips of those who are afraid of their thoughts and their feelings and their stories being heard. Think of all the words that wait anxiously at the tip of a pencil, but never escape the dull gray point in which they are trapped. What about the boy who goes home every day to a broken family and a brutally abusive father? His dad takes his pencil away and he turns it into a weapon. He erases the boy's imagination, draws shades of black and blue on the boy's arms and fragile chest, and uses the lead to create a weight too heavy for the boy to carry. He finds his way into his colorful dreams and he turns them into colorless nightmares. And what about the girl who replaces her pencil with a razor? Instead of writing what she feels down on a piece of paper, she carves her thoughts into her skin. Replacing blood for lead, scars for words, and tears for an eraser. And with her blood, she writes down about how she's bullied every day because she's fat and ugly. You're fat and ugly. God, why am I fat and ugly? And what about the boy who's deathly afraid to come out of the closet for the fear of rejection, ridicule, and rebuilding relationships? He would write down how it felt on a piece of paper if he weren't so afraid of his parents finding out who he really was. That used to be me. I used to be the kid that went home and I cried. I cried and prayed for God to make me normal, fearing rejection and damnation because of my sexuality. In the night that some kid holds in one hand a bottle of pills and a pencil in the other, I pray to God that he chooses the pencil. I hope he realizes he is worth it, his story is not over, and he may be different, but that's okay. There is nothing wrong with him, and God had made him that way. And I can't change, even if I tried, even if I wanted to. My love, my love, my love, he keeps me warm. He keeps me warm. And so does my beautiful, magical pencil. And I will never take that for granted.